Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I am Silfen and I wanted to share with you my trumpet warm-up. Something I've developed over the 10 plus years that I have been playing the trumpet and it feels really good and I thought that I wanted to share that with you. The first step is always warming up, literally, and also a little bit of stretches. And this, the most common way is to simply with your lips. Focus on air instead of necessarily the lips and the mouth, but do that until you kind of have, not, not that they feel numb, but you've definitely put a lot of sensation through the lips. Now that they're starting to feel a little bit tingly, but definitely that there's been a lot of sensation going on, now we move to our mouthpiece. This is to make sure that our embouchure works, that again, we focus on air producing our sound as we do small sirens up and down at not a too loud of a volume. Once you've done that, it's really starting to feel good. Again, lots of sensation, lots of air support. Then we can finally move on to the instrument. Once we have our instrument together, we want to focus on sound and tone production. And one of the hardest ways of, of, of doing that, in my opinion, is with all of the valves on a middle F sharp. With all of the valves open, at least in my pretty much professional instrument, it's still hard to get a great quality of sound at that at that up at the middle F sharp with all three valves down. So what we're doing here, again focusing on air, but producing a good quality of sound. What you can do is also play the F sharp properly with the second valve and compare the tone. We're not too concerned with the pitch of the note as you'll definitely need to employ the third or first valves, but it's the tone, not necessarily the pitch that we care about here. Once we, once we do that, then I go into lip slurs, up a partial and down a partial with, uh, with tonguing slightly in between to make sure that we're using proper embouchure support, breath control and support and proper articulation. Doing that with lip slurs Really make sure that the that the that your mouth cavity and your tongue and your embouchure are all working together. Whereas otherwise, you might cheat if 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 you don't do it.
once that starts to feel good, sound good, move up a partial. Move up to, to starting on the middle G, but playing it with one and three. Focus on pushing the air, not blowing, not forcing, not blowing with the, with the face, with the mouth, but pushing from your gut. That's a, probably the best way I can, I, I, I can explain the feeling of, of using good air support. in your mind pretend as if you were playing the most beautiful melody an actual piece of music with a musical message now that you've gone up to the C with no valves we return back to the F sharp except we extend the range in which we go in, in partials up instead of down so that will sound like this partial but we go down to the same partial as before this as you start to increase the amount of partials you go up as we will continue to do you have to do them faster and we start to play each note as triplets <laughs> partials now we can choose a few things depending on how we're feeling what the rest of the warm-up how much time we have now like i said earlier you can add in triplets to each of those notes ya da 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 or add another partial and or add another partial for the sake of this video i will do both just in terms of keeping it brief this really that is the warm-up from here I do like to add in instead of a triplet have it just a quadruple four sixteenth notes say four notes per per partial and like to go down to the to the lower octave just to make sure that that um, that that can speak and feel good and that you're staying open and using air throughout your entire range. Bye. 
pretty much sums up my daily warm up. I don't usually actually get that far as A, usually more interested in playing some repertoire or time constraints. There are, of course, variations to this. You can do, you can start on your pitch, go down the octave and then up to however many partials you are doing in that series. But really, that is it for me. It works fantastically. Air support, you're focusing on air and not necessarily your face and blowing and you're really focusing on air support. You, you're employing articulation. You can do, you can do the subsequent um, repetitions of the note after slurring up to a partial as staccatos, marcatos, whatever you want to, to, to focus on. It feels really good. It gets it really nice and, and, and working. You go longer and longer as you, as you add more partials and, and articulations to the series. And it really works quite fantastically. It's really something that I've kind of come to and, you know, it expands, it expands your range. You focus always on tone quality and, and, and air support and is my go-to for sure. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this warm-up. If you guys want to try it yourself, go absolutely ahead and, and, and do that. Let me know how it feels for you. This is simply what I really enjoy doing as it feels great and it gets me in a good, confident state to, to go on to my normal practicing or rehearsals. Please let me know down in the comments, guys, what you guys think.